like one. Fighting like one, but who knows? Let's see what we got. Got a little color. It's a hogfish. Here we go, I think. Is it? It is a hogfish. Let me swing it around. Is that door open? Nice. This is a male. You see how long it is. The females are not as elongated. They're more, they're more straight like that. And then the darker stripes. We're not gonna fillet this hogfish. We're gonna cook him whole on the grill. So we're gonna scale him up, gut him, put a couple slits in him, season him up, throw him on the grill. So that's what we're gonna do. I just use a spoon to scale him. I don't have one of those fancy scalers. Caught it today on a knocka rig. We're fishing uh, about 58, 60 feet. Fishing some live bottom. Fishing uh, live shrimp, medium heavy tackle, 3000 series, 4000 series spinning outfits. We had to go through quite a quite a few different fish in numbers and diff and species. We we caught uh, grunts, sea bass, porgies, mangrove snapper, gag groupers like they were free. Yeah, a couple blowfish. But uh, in great numbers though, we probably had 15 dozen shrimp, but we probably only have six dozen left. So now, now the fish is all scaled. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gut the fish. I'm gonna pull out all his innards. We're gonna cut from the back. And we're gonna cut all the way up. All the way up to underneath the jawbone, as far as you can forward. Uh, and then we're gonna do the deed of pulling all of the, his guts out. All, Stomach and all his organs. Just get rid of those. California, California sun. We're gonna go ahead and hose him out and clean off the table, and uh, then we're gonna put a couple slits in him. So whatever seasoning we put on it doesn't just get stuck at skin level. Kind of let it soak in there a little bit. Usually just three slits like that. That'll be plenty on each side. And that's about it. We'll go throw some seasoning on them at around 325. It's just a little bit of, it's a little bit of Old Bay. It's some, actually some fajita seasoning. Salt and pepper and some olive oil. Want to get your grill to 325, no more than 350. After, after your grill's to temperature, just make sure it obviously stays clean. Brush it with some olive oil, and that's pretty much it. The fish will cook six to eight minutes each side. It's got the grill extremely hot right now. I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna take this wire brush. I'm gonna clean off all of the leftover residue from the last snapper. You can see some little bits and pieces of uh, skin and stuff on there. Just gonna scrub it off. We're gonna try to get it in that 325 range. Every grill's different. I know, just happen to know on mine that in between those two dots on, on this grill, roughly is that 330 range. This one just, no, no special olive oil. This, this one just happens to be from, from here in Turpin Springs. To the other side. So. No aluminum foil, nothing. Right? No aluminum foil, no nothing. No, 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 no. Save the environment. <laughs> <laughs> Then I uh, always just take these, give them a little squeeze, and just stick them in those little cuts there, little slits you made. Use lemon or lime. I like lime. Some people like lemon. Everybody's different. There you go. Got to put a little of the olive oil on the grill too. It helps it keep it from sticking. You can see it's kind of not burning off right away. So if it if your grill's too hot, it'll you know it'll it'll be dry real quick. It'll burn off real quick. Set this one at seven minutes. That's it. Get the lid open. Yep, I'm gonna shut the lid. I just want to get my timer started. Getting ready to shut her down and let it cook. Look at that, such a boy. He looks good, doesn't he? Looks pretty done to me, right? We're gonna close it back up for another six minutes. A little bit tricky sometimes. Want to stick a little bit. And there you go.